This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time to kick off a new session of recordings with the Electric Circuits, a race event exclusively aimed at electric and hybrid cars powered by both battery and motor. So I'm going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room here. I'm not doing this live on Twitch and I have no camera. Reason why is because for a week now, my uh, ISP Spectrum has been dog shit and they won't fix my internet because they're a bunch of lazy bastards. And um, for some reason, my USB cable for my GoPro broke. So I have to order one in the mail. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing this offline. I was gonna stream GT6 all of Thanksgiving, but unfortunately with my ISP being bad, um, yeah, I, I don't have internet. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on screen how many episodes of Let's Play Grand Turismo 6 will be offline slash without a camera. You'll see it now. So anyways, um, Electric circuits. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves a hybrid, and I'm just gonna go ahead and we already used the Prius in um, in the uh, one make. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy the 2011 Toyota Aqua S, aka the Toyota Prius C, if you're in the United States. I'm gonna get in in yellow. Why? I don't know. It, it's not really a car I'd get in yellow, but screw it, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm mainly wanting to play this right now I, I really do want to stream gt6 but at the same time like because this is not my one of my favorites of the gran turismo series as much as i do like the game i want to move on to you know the classics like gt's one through four and so if i can get them out the way now then you know it'll be better so anyways three different races high speed ring matterhorn dristledon and the indianapolis road course which will be the very first time we visit that in the game so on we go to High speed ring for race one and as you could barely see on the average opponent list it's mainly just priuses honda insights cars like that let's see what we get here two priuses an aqua two leaves two insights an older prius and a i me i me ev i guess not sure we're gonna leave comfort mediums on because I mean, it's this car. Like, all right. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is actually my third attempt at this race. So, on attempt one, um, as you saw, the comfort mediums were actually not very good. The second attempt, Sport Hearts made a big improvement, and I was trying to pass the leader on the outside, and then he moved up and pretty much impeded me. And um, since I lost my momentum, and the 09 Priuses are like the most OP cars for this race. Um, I, I had no chance of actually getting him at the line. Speaking about OP cars, um, interesting fact, you can actually use the Tesla Model S, the Tesla Roadster, or the Karma Fis uh, the Fisker Karma, I mean. But you would have to lower the power down to meet the performance point maximum. And I guess it would be cool to use those to quickly get electric circuits out the way, but at the same time, it's like... Electric circuits isn't really the most exciting championship to begin with, because you would just pass all the cars and then what? Like... You'd still be driving an EV by yourself, which EVs aren't bad. Like, I don't mind EVs at all, because all three of those cars are electric vehicles. They're not hybrids, but um, I wouldn't mind. Like, I actually like the Tesla Model S. Like, I specifically remember in Gran Turismo Sport, one of the daily races was actually Daily A, the Tesla Model S at Sard uh, Sardinia C. That was one of the best races I've ever participated in. It was me, Rhino GT4, Mr. Aero HD. Like, we would, you know, the three of us would, like, go into the lobbies and just have a lot of fun in them. And that was, like, in the beginning of the year. This is being filmed in 2020, of course. But, yeah, I wonder what the gap is now. Six seconds. Okay, it was six seconds last time. Although we did, you know, we did lose a tenth on this attempt, but... We do gain a lot, a lot of time on these uh, two AI cars, mainly through T2 and the S's, so like, I'm not too concerned, really. I said screw it. I, I used the brakes last time. I did a little bit of trail braking last time, and okay, yeah, we're, we're a lot faster without braking. I was just screw it. We'll just lift. I think the Priuses have like 
20 more horsepower or so than the Aqua does. Don't quote me on that, but I know for sure that the Aqua is a bit underpowered compared to the Prius G. As you can see, the Prius is actually just getting away. He's able to just pull away a bit. Oh, we're getting some help. Nice. Thank you, Black Prius. Appreciate it. And there we go. Third time is the charm. Now that I actually figured out, you know, oh, sport hards are pretty much mandatory for this race and don't fuck up again. Although in fairness, we did get we did get screwed by the AI in uh, the second attempt as I squeak my chair. That probably needs to, you know, tighten down the bolts a little bit more. But anyways, 18,000 credits. I think we made the money back from buying the Aqua with um, the two failed attempts and then this attempt. So anyways, on to race number two. So race two, Matterhorn Dristalin. And this time there's no Leafs or the old 2003 Toyota Prius. We have more insights and an extra Aqua for good measure. Hooray. So this car, um, I actually have, have I rode in it? I think I might have, I think I may have rode, ridden in this thing. Um, it was last year, San Diego Comic Con, I believe my friend Ambush King, which by the way, twitch.tv forward slash Ambush King, exactly how it sounds, but the S in Ambush put three S's. Anyways, oh, that's right, cockpit view, because we already did chase cam for high speed ring. Oh, damn it. The insight really slow out the corner. Um, yeah, this thing is pretty cool. I mean, it's comfy. Like, these, these Toyota cars are pretty comfy. I wouldn't own a Prius, necessarily. I think if I were to own a hybrid, I probably would want to hunt down maybe like a Honda CRZ because those are pretty cool looking, despite what some people might say. But I know for sure that the real Emil told me, which YouTube.com forward slash the real Emil, I think that's his link. Um, I know he said that the, like some of the old original models like had really shitty batteries, so you got to get like a certain year or so. Anyways, we're losing a lot of speed on the uphill. Not a surprise given the fact that this car doesn't have any power. But yeah, these are cool. Like, there's another one. There's one that I think is like a European model that I remember riding in as an Uber when I went to Germany. And it's like a station wagon. It's more of an estate slash wagon version of this. I don't remember what it's called. It's, I think it starts with an H or something. I, I cannot remember. But if anyone knows in the chat watching this video, feel free to comment. Or maybe, maybe I'll know by then, but yeah, anyways, feel free to comment if you'd like. One more lap to go. 7.77 seconds behind the Priuses. I think we're going to gain a lot of time just through this first turn alone. If I don't fuck it up. Okay, not the best corner, but we didn't do too terrible. Yeah, we gained a lot of time. Two seconds to be exact. With the way that the white Prius is kind of like trying to fight with the black Prius right now, like we're gaining time on them. Oh yeah, he's going for an overtake. They don't have much horsepower either, so like we're we're able to just gain on them even with with losing out on the uphill. They're going to brake for that left-hander right here. Yep. They're on the brakes. I have to be on the brakes too to not hit them. Now I'm going to brake a little early because although this is on the golf, for anyone who's watched the Gornergrat League episode of the LP, uh, I nosedived down there twice. And yeah, I don't want to risk that again. I don't trust like that. And there we go. That's race number two down of the electric circuits. Very nice. Very cool.
our lovely three stars and let's move on to race number three so the final race of the electric circuits here at indianapolis motor speedway's old road course and yeah it's roughly the same feel from last time the leaps are back which is cool i guess so for this uh yeah let's go with the the roof cam why not Poor IMIF, I, I, me, EV, whatever the fuck that thing's called. Not only is it ugly, but it just gets left in the dust every single time in this championship. Not the best T1, but screw it. I mean, at, at least with a more technical course like this, like we should be able to catch the Priuses probably by the end of the first lap. I feel like every race so far... Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. I forget. Like, my mind was already set on going on the chicane here that exists in the new Indianapolis road course, which, by the way, I very much prefer the new Indianapolis road course because I feel like this is too Mickey Mouse for my liking. But, um, yeah, uh, at least with this being more technical, like, more corners, so that means more opportunities for the Priuses to slow down. Like, we should be able to catch them. Maybe even lead by the end of the first lap. Who knows? That's one aqua down. Got another one to go. Five seconds ahead. Or five seconds behind, I should say. Going for the dive bomb. This is probably one of the reasons why I hate Indianapolis's old road course. Like, I'm not a fan of these two small, tiny little hairpins. Like, eh. Although I do have to say, with the old road course, I do actually like Turn 13 a lot. Like, Turn 13 is pretty cool just because it's, you know, the flat-out backwards version of Oval Turn 1. But, um, I don't hate the new section, which is, you know, where it cuts it cuts into here. I guess the pit wall, the pit exit was moved. Or it either was moved or this grass is gone. I can't remember. I have to see a picture. But, yeah, where it goes inwards, it's like a bus stop i guess or something just two like 90 degree corners but i actually do like that little final section of the new road course okay second place by the end of lap one and yeah that easily the easiest of the three races given if you're using an aqua or something that's not a 2009 prius or one of the evs that i mentioned in the high speed ring race But, yeah, I mean, not really much else to say. Just good old hybrid cars. And yeah, the second place Prius is way gone at this point. Already left them behind. I'm going to guess that he's going to be like five seconds behind now. No, probably more. It's already been six seconds since I crossed the scoring time, or the, the sector time. I mean, 7.5, okay. Yeah, they're just really bad in the corners. I do find it interesting that you can't use this car in the B license one make of the Prius Cup or Prius Race, whatever it's called, when given the fact that this car pretty much is a Prius, at least in the US, like I mentioned, with it being called a Prius C. 10 seconds behind. Oh my goodness. So through turn 13 in a Toyota, but we're not spinning or having our tire go down. No siree. No need for a six car race. So this is a 10 car race and no need for a chicane there either because we safely make it through and we win the final race at Indy. And that's the electric circuits complete. Again, poor Mitsubishi. F's in the chat for the Mitsubishi. I, me, EV. I'm Ev, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a thing. 
So I need to replay save for thumbnail purposes and as usual before we end the video let's go check out our percentage stat and see where we're at now. Thirty-four percent. I think that's the same percentage we had last time. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And next time on Gran Turismo Six, we will be taking a look at the Italian Festival.